This guy's ready. Uh -huh. Hey, there you are. You were expecting me? <laughs> I was 92.7% sure of it. I tend to make a strong first impression. About that, do you often introduce yourself by dumping a bunch of Quidditch playbooks and then just leaving? <sighs> That's not what happened. Yes, it was. I was there. <sighs> what happened was... First, I dumped my playbooks. And then you said, I recognize you. You are the Quidditch commentator. And then you said, what's this about? Yeah. And then I said, strategy. And then I said, you're going about getting a Quidditch tryout all wrong. And that's when I left. Isn't that what I just said? <sighs> oh god. <laughs> I'm not... I'm not continuing this. Oh my god. Yeah. Why? Alright, alright. <laughs> That's what you get when you chat with a Quidditch commentator. I don't see what that has to do with commentary. It's annoying. You are good at it. It is rather impressive. <laughs> Quite accurate. Uh huh. I should be. I practically live in this commentary box. <laughs> Murphy McNully, by the way. The Wizarding World's next best ever professional Quidditch commentator. That's the plan, at least. Judging by the competition, I'd put my odds of going pro at 3 to 1. Now that's more of a proper introduction, Murphy. My friends call me McNully. Are we friends now? I haven't even introduced myself. Uh huh. You're Heather Ainsley. I know who you are. Curse breaker, rule breaker, and aspiring Quidditch disruptor. <laughs> hey. Untested, untried, untrained. Teaming with untapped talent. Steelier than a snaggy, snaily gaster. Snally gaster? <laughs> hey. Faster than the swiftest snidget. Greener than the greenest bow truckle, with the strategy savvy of a befuddled troll. <laughs> Wait, greener than a bow truckle? Strategy savvy of a troll? I didn't dump a bunch of playbooks on you because I think you're a seasoned Quidditch strategist. Now you're laughing at me? Not at you, I've watched you practice, you're a natural. I wouldn't have dumped anything on you. Thank you? Mm. But you're all might and fight and flight. No insight. I don't understand. I've been training nonstop. At the School of Sky, where you school full marks for launching a dizzy gnome over a stadium wall. No one's saying Sky hasn't helped you develop phenomenal physical skills in record time. <laughs> but you've still got a lot of tactical Quidditch knowledge to learn if you want to oppress Orion Amari. Who's Orion Amari? <laughs> Orion Amari is Hufflepuff's team captain. He decides who gets invited to try out for the open chaser position. Did Sky not tell you how all this works? Everything except the captain's name. Sky didn't seem to want to talk about him. Ah. Uh. That's likely because Sky and Orion mix like Asphodel and Infusion of Wormwood. Which is to say, best to keep them separated, unless you really know what you're doing. <laughs> Which is why you need my help. Because you can get Sky and Orion to mix well? <sighs> no, because Quidditch is more than skills and drills, it's statistics and logics. <laughs> it's analysis and algorithms. It's strategy and mastery in history. Look, Sky's mates are arriving. I should go. We've got a friendly about to start. <laughs> oh my god. It's my first practice without Sky here. I really must go. <laughs> Just go. <laughs> Just go. 
There's a 94.4% chance she'll be back. Man, I don't... I don't know. Oh, chances, chances are dropping. I still have a ton of energy. Oh, okay. Let's go gather. Yay! Uh -oh. Another year gone. This year has been more difficult than most. But I want to thank all of you for showing great courage and resilience throughout. Uh. My hope is that next year will be equally thrilling, but far less dangerous. Enough about next year. It's time to award the winner of this year's House Cup. Fourth played the Gryffindor. Third Slytherin. Second Ravenclaw. And Hufflepuff. Congratulations, Hufflepuff. <laughs> we won the cup. It's all thanks to you. Looks like we did pretty good for ourselves. Splendid work. <gasps> Splendid. <gasps> oh my gosh. Your magic skills are much The cursed ice melts in the waters of the past. September sun shines on Hogwarts once again. New privileges, new friends, and new dangers await. I still have so much energy. Going for the welcome feast. I was sorted into Hufflepuff. Think you're a hero? I think you're nothing but a troublemaker. Me and Mrs. Norris will be watching you. Good evening, Miss Ainsley. Hope you're excited for Herbology this year. Ah. It's great to see you, Heather. How were your summer holidays? Difficult, honestly. The Daily Prophet reported what happened with the cursed vault last year, so my mom knows everything. She hopes I'll find out what happened to my brother. She's afraid I'll end up missing too. Hmm. We won't let that happen, Heather. Thanks, I'm just glad to be back at Hogwarts. With all of you, so we can try to find the next vault. Huh? Have you thought about the book and broken wand you found? Are you joking? I haven't let go of them since I left. I just wish I could figure out what they're for. I did a lot of research the past couple months, and I have some theories. We can discuss them after Dumbledore's speech. Huh. Is Dumbledore gonna punish us? They're investigating the vaults? I don't think so. He asked me to stay away from them, but he wasn't upset. Huh. That's a relief. Looks like he's about to speak. We'd better take our seats. Uh -huh. Welcome back. I'm pleased to have all of you new and returning students here for another year of magical learning and self-discovery. Uh. Of course, I would be remiss if I did not mention the erumpent in the room. As many of you know, last year, Hogwarts was afflicted with cursed ice, caused by one of the long-rumored cursed vaults. The curse was released by someone attempting to enter a vault, and so I am ordering everyone in this room to stay away from the rest. It is said that tampering with each fault unleashes a unique curse, and I will not have my students and faculty endangered again. It is true that the students who opened the curse vault broke the curse and saved the school. <coughs> it is also true they put all of us at risk by doing so. 
students are absolutely forbidden from seeking the remaining vaults. The penalty for anyone caught doing so will be severe, especially for repeat offenders. It is the staff's responsibility to take care of the situation and ensure that Hogwarts is safe for everyone. So once more, do not attempt to locate and enter the vaults. My apologies. I hope the temporary damage in your eardrums has saved you from more permanent harm. Uh Now please enjoy your feast. I've had the opportunity to sample this year's pumpkin, tart, and it is particularly tasty. So much for Dumbledore not being upset. Uh. You think he knows I was there? Are we going to get detention? You weren't there. What should we do? Uh. I know what we're going to do anyway. Find the next cruise vault so I can find my brother. Hmm. I realize it's reckless and irrational, but I was actually hoping you'd say that. Let's just focus on our classes till we figure out what to do next. I'm in the library. Okay. Oh, I'll be coming in Amagus? Meet us in the Great Hall. I'd like to get your thoughts on something. Let's see what Bill wants first. We haven't been in here. Looking up rare ingredients, but forgot their names. Slytherin should win the House Cup every year. Don't you love learning about Wandwoods? Why are all these leaflets you're reading, Bill? <laughs> I'm doing research for my career post Hogwarts. I thought you always wanted to become a world famous curse breaker. Go! Oh. It's always been my plan, but the professors encourage us to consider multiple career paths while at Hogwarts. Besides curse breaking, what else do you want to do? I guess I haven't given it much thought. What do you think my career should be? Or... You could be a respectable or. That would be brilliant. I can't think of anything more exciting than to expose the criminals of the wizarding world. Perhaps there's an interesting job out there I haven't discovered yet. I should do more research. I can help you find resources. Let's look now. Let's not. Mm. Let's see what our friends want. Oh. Eavesdropping really works out well for anyone involved. Oh, that's not. That's Filch. That's McGonagall. There's no McGonagall. Oh, there it is. I'll grab an extra chicken leg for Fang. Huh. Hello, Heather Ainsley. Barnaby and I were just discussing Talbot Winger. Who's Talbot Winger? Do I know the two of you? A Ravenclaw in our year. You don't know him because he's hardly ever around. And when he is, he keeps to himself. They say he spends a lot of time alone in the Allery. Hey! They also say his dad's a vampire and his mom is a mermaid. I'm actually quite certain you just made that up. Hmm, could be. Mar- Marullo always used to say it was full of good ideas, amongst other things. I have, however, heard that he's attempting to brew an Animagus potion. If you drink it, you turn into an Animagus? There are multiple steps involving a special spell and a specific sort of storm, but in short, yes. I'd love to become an Animagus. How cool would it be to transform into an animal? Mm. I know why I'd like to transform into an animal, but... Why do you want to become an Animagus? Because it's awesome? Who wouldn't? I might become a bird and soar through the clouds, or turn to a dragon and breathe fire. <laughs> It'd be so cool. Not to mention making it easier to sneak about the castle and deal with the cursed vaults. You had me at sneaking about. 
should talk to Talbot about brewing an extra Animagus potion for me. Hmm. He'll shut down if you confront him. You need to work out the best way to approach him. It might be best to ask around about him first. Good idea, Barnaby. Oh. I don't remember ever having two ideas in one sitting. My Hogwarts education might be finally taking effect. Okay. Mr. Winger is a credit to Ravenclaw, especially wise and creative for his age. Norris looks like she's stalking Talbot. You don't even know who Talbot is. I wonder if Talbot has a secret he doesn't want anyone else to know. You wouldn't believe the idea. I just forgot. I'm almost certain it was brilliant. I know Talbot a bit. Quiet lad. Awfully good with creatures. Mr. Winger prefers solitude. You should respect his wishes. Many Ravenclaws seek solitude, but we should make sure he's alone by choice. Mr. Winger is one of my finest students. He helped me tame a hippogriff once. Uh, oh. Oh, this is Talbot. Strange, I don't remember ever seeing Talbot, but he still seems familiar. It's five. This might work. Hey! If you want to know something about me, just ask. How did you know I was talking about you? My hearing's almost as good as my eyesight. Besides, I'm used to people talking about me. I heard you're brewing an Animagus potion. I've always wanted to transform into an animal. I don't know what you're talking about. Alright, sorry to bother you, Talbot. Is it true you sneaked into Filch's office? Oh, why can't I... Have I snuck into Filch's office? No? That would be against the rules. Why? Do you want to know how, I, how to get in? I'm collecting things for a mutual friend of ours. We have a mutual friend? You're probably surprised I have any friends at all. Everyone has friends. Even Marula. But how many of them are true friends? Uh, Let's go, Heather Ainsley. You can show me how you definitely did not sneak into Filch's office. Okay. Meet me in Filch's office. This is important. Really? All you had to do was cast Alohomora on the door? Don't ask me why Filch makes it so easy to sneak into his office. What exactly are we looking for? I need the chrysalis of a death's head hawk moth? The what of a what? The chrysalis of a death's head hawk moth. Someone I trust told me Filch confiscated some last week. We'll need it for the Animagus potion. Look for a moth with skull-shaped markings. I'm out of energy. The moth will have markings on its thorax that resemble a human skull. Why would Filch confiscate some moths? Honestly, how many shackles does one man need? Use under this pile of random maps. Search carefully. It's important it remains in pristine condition. Would Phil keep confiscated mocks, moths in a box? I wouldn't put anything past him. Five! We don't need five! Thank you. <laughs> I 
I found the thing. That's definitely the chrysalis of a death's head mothhawk. Nice work, Heather. Now we need to collect dew from the artifact room. After that, we'll almost be ready to brew an animagus potion. We? What? You said we. It was an accident. I think you did it on purpose. No, I didn't. I think you want to be my friend. Absolutely not. Everyone needs friends, Talbot. Not me. I fly solo. We'll see. Right. We'll see what you think when you learn my secret. Meet me in the artifact room. It's important we gather this next ingredient before it's too late. You're gonna have to wait till my energy refills, so. Thanks for watching till the end of the video. Consider giving a like or leaving a comment. The YouTube algorithm favors engagement, so doing one or both of those things really helps the channel. There's social media links in the description and a link to my tip jar if you're interested in helping out that way. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoy the next one.